All right, here we are. Today we are in the North Syracuse Cemetery, and uh, we're going to go maybe to the back and find out what's going on. Um, if you look at this building right here, this is a mausoleum that states we are in the North Syracuse Cemetery. I'm not sure exactly how far this goes back, but uh, I was told it does go back pretty far. Let's just take a look around and see what's going on. Oh, it's not really too big. Let's get on this side. All right, we are between Route 11 and South Bay Road. This is the one of the cemeteries on this road I wanted to go to. And if we take a look at our right over there, the South Bay Road entrance. And we're going to pull over right here. What is going on? Today we have a special guest. Um, tell them what your name is. Declan DJ. Okay, do you have any social handles? Yes, I do. Which ones do you got? Uh, I have Mr. Dark and I don't really have any others. What was that? Mr. Dark. How do you spell that? Uppercase M R period uppercase D A R K. Mr. Dark on what social handle are you on? TikTok. Okay, so it's TikTok slash forward Mr. Dark. Yep. Would you say that? Yeah. All right. We're going to go look around the cemetery here in North Syracuse and uh, pay tribute to those who have fallen and tell a little bit about their headstones just by visual um, things. All right. And today we're going to do... The Danforth headstone will be our first headstone that we take a look at. On the other side of this headstone, there's some scriptures. So we're going to have Declan the DJ. Hey guys, okay, so this is the tombstone that we are going to be reading today. And we just, there's a story behind this and we just want to see what it is and everything. So, what it reads is, the Lord himself shall decide and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with, the, with them to meet the Lord in the air. Hey, I just wanted to, um, before we go any further, ask you to sub, hit the notification bell, and hit all. Stay updated, and have Declan the DJ make bunny ears behind you. Jackson Hutstone. Um, the first name of this person is Melville Jackson. He was born in 18 or 1845. Died in 1905. Was married to Elmira A. Baum, his wife. She was born 1847 and died in 1926. We go around, take a look at it, see if there's something on this side. And there's not. Let's come over here. This seems to be an interesting tombstone, or headstone, I mean. We don't call them tombstones no more. The name here is... Sm 
Smiley. That's all that says. Not sure if he's buried here in the front or if he's buried behind uh, the headstone. This is the bottom of it. And uh, we have this one. Kenneth. William H. Mary B. Betsy and George. William H. 1959. It seems like these guys are still alive. Well, God bless you. No, it can't be. I found um, a headstone here. Dating all the way back until the year 1826 of Harriet M. Alcott. Passed away 1893. Right next to her husband. Or next to her, maybe her father. Harriet was the mother. And William is the father. Sorry about the confusion. William B. Stanton, 1817 until 1899. Hey guys, so I took over for now. So, we were walking and we found these two headstones that have the same family's name. So, we have Sleeth, not sure you really how you pronounce that, but so we found this one and we found the mem uh, family members that died. There were four of them. And then we come over here. We found the younger generation family. The Smith of the version. And there are four of them. So I'm just je I'm just saying that this could be a younger generation than this. And what Tyler Novak said, that this right here could just be a casket by itself, because we can tell that either that's a lining or that can come off. We're not quite sure. But we move down here, we have another one that is Joe's. And also been for family members that died. But these ones are really, really old. And they're covered up. 